Welcome to another video from the farm. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make a fence from old pallets. So to start with then, you're going to need a few items. You're going to need some bricks, some sort of posts to put in the ground. Now we've got lots of old fence posts. And lastly, you're going to obviously need a load of pallets. We've got quite a lot of these sort of coloured treated pallets all around a little utility shed and using them as a bit of a walkway during winter and at the vines using similar sort of ones these or sort of euro pallets or something similar because they're they're much stronger if you look at the sort of structure of this there's a lot of wood here and i'll quickly show you a cheaper pallet as you can see nowhere near as much wood nowhere near the same quality of wood as well which will obviously make a difference the longevity of your fence so if you can get yourself real heavy duty ones for this job we've got about 20 of them to be getting on with so we can do pretty much all the fence along the side of the market garden first step then grab a post and then we're going to bang one in the start spot which right here we're going to put this one now i already did a quick test yesterday Check to see if my method works sound, and it does. So I'll explain how to do it now. Obviously then, knock yourself a starter post in the ground. And then you wanna get yourself some of your old bricks and start building sort of just a little block pattern like so, in a straight line where you want your fence to go. So for our pallets, we need 11 bricks to go along the bottom before we have the next post. So now we've got all these in lift a pallet into position so we can mark the position of the next post we need to put in so it's as simple as lifting a pallet into position next to your one post like so it's snug on the bottom corner now we're working with fairly level ground so as you can see our pallets just sit on but it might be easier if there's two of you doing this bit so next then, we're whacking the post very close, almost as tight as we can get it, up to the pallet, like so. That's as easy as that, to do your marking out. Now I am going to continue doing this same process. So I'm going to put pallet on top of bricks use that to mark out the next post all the way along here with the ones we've got left and then we'll come back to the start and get on leveling all these out nicely and fixing them to the posts so it's a rinse repeat process now put bricks down put a pallet out put the next post in so on and so forth obviously you can just do this with one pallet get all your posts in ahead of time or you can do what I'm doing, put in a pallet in as you go, just leaving it in the rough position to come back and fix them in afterwards. Let's get these in then. So we've got a roughly laid in. Next step's a nice easy one. Just get yourself some 100mm screws and an impact driver or drill. And we're just going to centre this up on the post. Bottom, middle and top block. And then we're just going to whack a couple of these screws straight through the block into the post. I'm just doing top and bottom on each post for now. As you can see, I'm shaking that as hard as I can, and that's solid as a rock now. 
and then now it's just a case of me going along getting all the edges flush getting all the posts nice and centered on the blocks all the way down to that top end so let's crack on and get these done Great Posh, good bit of fence in. Oh, pheasant. So if you want, you're done now. If you just want cheap barrier fence, you don't do anything more to it, you don't want it to last very long. Done, good to go. Pallet fence finished. But if you want to do a little bit more, time to start painting it, smarten it all up, and uh, a few other little bits of beautification, which we'll go over now. I would already say though, don't use fence paint. Use the last little bit of a tin we had there. And uh, this was a red pallet, as you can see by some of the bits on the back I haven't done yet. Four coats. The blue, three coats. As you can see that, I've just left this piece with one coat. Yeah, a lot of color comes through when you're using these good pallets. So we're gonna use some barn paint. I'm doing a bit of quick maths and uh, it's basically gonna take about 15 minutes a pallet to do good all over coat so times that by four that's an hour of pallet if i'm painting it with fence paint i think we'll stick to the good stuff as you've probably seen in other videos if you haven't lead oxide or not lead oxide oxide finish barn paint we use this stuff on a lot of things it's great lasts a long time it's a real hard wearing surface and to save carrying around big 20 liter tub of it get yourself a milk bottle Cut that sort of shape in the top. You've got a nice little pouch for paint. You can rest your brush in there also. Nice convenient little thing to carry paint around in. Just done a quick few sample batches. That's on top of the already painted bit. That's a fresh bit on the blue. That's a fresh bit on the red. This paint's a winner. Let's crack on then. All right then, got pretty much all the fence painted now. It's been a month and a bit since I've uh, Last film, Denny, but we've got a bit of splashing on the front edge as you can see. Give that a bit of a wash. But now this is the final bit of beautification I wanted to do. Add on a nice bit of hessian rope along the very tops. Now in this size rope, you're only talking about tenner for this whole 50 meter coil, but as soon as you start going thicker to look even prettier, per se, you start going up to about 10 pound a meter, so it's up to you if you're doing this sort of thing what thickness rope you want to go for for the aesthetic obviously 20 mil plus rope looks way better than this kicked up now so the rope's flopping about a bit but it doesn't half look bad if I don't say so myself so yeah that's uh, this fence complete now I hope you've seen how easy it is to complete literally three components post bricks and pallets you could even use spare bits of wood as the post if you wanted to dead easy dead cheap and yeah give it a lick of paint like this it'll last a good old while well then, I hope you've enjoyed seeing this uh, fence come together. If you did, don't forget to give it a like below. If you're not a subscriber of the channel, don't forget to hit that button below as well and the notification button, just to make sure you see the videos. Until next time then, bye bye.